G'day, this is Peter from The Property Club and I'm back with another episode and I've got some news. It's a quick update on my fast today and how I'm going and where I got to. Well, I did break the fast and I broke that fast on Thursday. So I got to six days in total. I didn't quite get to seven days. Originally, I had planned to go for only three, but I decided to step things up and try for seven days on my fast. I did not quite make it. By the end, I was getting dizzy and rather hungry. <laughs> so I got my coffee this morning. Black, no sugar, nothing. So yeah, look, what happened? On Thursday, I just couldn't handle it. It was late in the evening. Actually, I almost got to seven days. I almost got to seven days. But I said, no, nah, that's it. I've got to eat something. And what I broke my fast with was a soup. I went for a chicken and corn soup. I don't know why, but I was craving those, you know, Chinese chicken and corn soups, kind of like you get from the Chinese restaurant or something like that. And uh, I had to eat it. And I had a decent portion, a decent bowl. And man, even after eating it, I was still hungry. So today is Saturday and it's been about, oh, this is the second day since I've broken my fast. Today, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself with a steak. So I'm gonna have a nice fat steak cooked up for me tonight and eat that and celebrate. <laughs> what I wanna talk about is now that I've been fasting, I've been having some crazy ideas, some outlandish ideas, and I'm already feeling slimmer. I've lost three kilos, more than three kilos, can you believe? And I think it might be showing in my face. I have an awesome idea. And that awesome idea is to go native. Yeah, I'm thinking about going native. I'm thinking about Filipino style. I'm thinking about buying a block of land somewhere and building a little kubu house. So nothing, you know, extravagant, something that can be built with, you know, 100 or 200,000 pesos, something really, really basic and live somewhere exotic. You know, that's what I've been thinking about lately. I've been thinking I want to make the most of living here in the Philippines. So when this lockdown ends, I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be traveling to surf breaks, to you know, exotic places, to jungles and check out new places in the hope I can find some land. Okay, so I want to buy some land in the future, just really cheaply. I hope somewhere you know, very remote, uh, maybe even beachside or on the beach if it's cheap enough, whereby I can... Hey, buddy. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> it's my neighbor. <laughs> He's walked out into a vlog. G'day, Bent. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. You got your mask there. So you're wearing that in the house. No, I hang it on the ear so I don't forget it. Oh, he hangs it on his ear so he doesn't forget it. <laughs> so where was I? What I'm looking to do is go out and find some cheap land, hopefully on the beachfront, and just build a basic beach shack and chill there, you know, on the weekends or, you know, half the time and then the other half of the time here. That's my new plan. I think it's a great idea. I got this idea when I was fasting. Maybe you think it's a, you know, a crazy idea that you know, I got this crazy thought while you know, I was trying to kill myself fasting. <laughs> Not really. Um, no, I think it's a great idea. I think, hey, look, I'm in the Philippines. I need to think like a local thinks. And I think it's going to be exciting to live on the beachfront. And when I first came here to the Philippines, my dream, my goal was to get something on the beach. So I don't care if it's, you know, a little shack, you know, 100,000 peso shack. I just don't care. As long as it's got running water, you know, a little bit of electricity, um, who cares? As long as I can jump up in the morning, you know, run on the beach and go swimming, I'd be stoked. Big news, going native, okay? Um, on my fast, not sure if I mentioned this earlier in the video, I did lose over three kilos. So I lost about three and a half kilos in total. So yeah, it might be showing on my face and that's awesome. You know, I'm feeling heaps better. Uh, you know, I had a bit of a sleep in this morning because it was a big work week and I do need a shave. But uh, other than that, things are good. Uh, I'm just looking forward to this lockdown ending so I can get out there, get exploring. Um, most likely I'm going to go to Belair first. I had actually used the Airbnb hack, <laughs> the Airbnb hack and uh, have a look on my video and I show people how to get 60% off Airbnb and I tried it myself and I booked. 
I got 50% off. I didn't quite get 60, but I got 50% off an Airbnb in Balear, and it's a beachfront house. I got a beachfront house for 30, for 30 US dollars, I got a beachfront house. So 30 US dollars a night in Belair. I got a beachfront house. I'm gonna stay there for a week when the lockdown ends and I'm aiming for mid to late July. And the host actually kindly said that I'm allowed to rebook if the lockdown uh, extends and I can rebook and do that for free. So how good is that? So I'm really, really excited. Like every day I've been looking up, you know, surf breaks and you know, learning surfing and this sort of thing. So I think it's a great idea got to get healthy again and out on a board <laughs> yep actually a long time ago now but when I was a kid a teenager I used to skate I wasn't really into surfing I never got into surfing I wish I had uh, having lived in Australia but I didn't I was into skateboarding and I thought that was cool <laughs> um, but now look I'm really keen to you know hit the surf and just you know be a beach bum you know that I've got the beard for it I'm definitely sporting that the right beard for it uh, the other thing I'm doing this weekend is I'm going to be making a couple of videos, okay? Uh, a couple of videos on best Airbnbs, what Airbnbs to look for, like top five Airbnbs. I've done a few of those in the past, so I'm going to do a few of those videos, maybe one or two this weekend. I'm also going to do videos on property foreclosures. Now, I'm really excited about this one, guys, because look, with the coronavirus and this sort of thing, what I've noticed is with different banks, okay, with the banks, foreclosures are rising. Boom. I'm really excited actually to check out the different banks and the foreclosures that are available at the moment with the COVID-19 situation because I reckon there's some bargains. And I'm hopeful that on these foreclosure websites, I can find some land for myself so I can buy some land, okay? Uh, I won't be buying in my name. I'll be looking to buy in my son's name, most likely. Hopefully on the beach or on the beach side somewhere, buy some land, build a little shack and enjoy myself so I can get some time out to chill. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking to do. Really excited. And that foreclosure video is coming soon. And I might even do a series of these different foreclosures, you know, mortgagee in possession uh, videos. So I'm really excited about that, guys really annoying thing that frustrates me to absolutely no end is this lockdown and the COVID-19 situation because we missed summer. We missed the summer break and it's been boiling and I've been stuck in the house with the aircon on, with the aircon blowing and it's cost a fortune. People's electricity bills have skyrocketed, okay? So electricity bills have gone through the roof in the last month. There have been a lot of complaints and the government's talking about rolling back and making, you know, Maralco and these different electricity companies roll things back to give us a discount on our electricity bill. So look, my point is, you know, I was hoping to spend some time outside, you know, hit the beach, that sort of thing during, you know, the summer season. You can see behind me, uh, it's been raining, okay? So uh, it has been raining last night and we're moving into typhoon season. We're moving into rain season. So because of the COVID-19 situation, we totally skipped, we missed out, we didn't get the opportunity of summer, okay? There was no summer break this year, it sucks. So now we've got to endure three to four months, maybe longer, who knows, of this rain season. Check this out, this is my Belair mug. Check out, I love Belair. So I really do love Belair. I think Belair's a cool place. It is hard to get to uh, because it's windy roads, they're really, you know, treacherous roads. You really don't want to go at night and you don't want to uh, travel when it's wet, preferably. I've even heard that it, at night, and it could be an old old tale, it could be a story, um, but at the end of the day, what I've heard is actually there's carjackings. There's highway robbers at night. So, you know, you could be driving along, they try and stop you, hold you up for your car, jack you for your car, and you're done, you're finished, okay? So what I've been told by local people is do not travel at night. So we'll be traveling either early in the morning um, or late, late at night to get there in the morning. We are so close to 30,000 subscribers. We are very close, only 150 more subs until we hit 30,000 subscribers. So we'll hit that milestone hopefully this week. 
So we need your help. Can you please share, like our videos and hit that subscribe button so we can hit that milestone. Thanks for watching. This has been Peter from The Property Club.